Hi everybody, it's Coach Jennifer Baddo. Today we're going to talk about how to do your activity logs that are due in every unit of your Canvas Hope course. Stay tuned! Hi there, it's Coach Baddo with your Canvas Hope course. In this video, I'm going to go over the HOPE physical activity log that you will do in every unit in Segment 1 and in Segment 2 of HOPE class. Just to go over a few basic things, the information is always going to be at the top and your form will always be here. When you save them, they will save to your Google Drive and you can upload them in order to turn them in for your assignment. You'll have one in each unit. There are eight units in segment one and eight units in segment two. And each activity log is for three hours, which is 180 minutes. Some of the specifics that I want to go over are covered on the top of this page. If you think back to unit one, segment one, you learned about the target heart rate zone. And you learned what, what that zone is for you specifically. So we want to make sure that your activities that you're logging are getting you into the target heart rate zone. Keep that in mind that you want to get your heart rate up. Just walking won't do that for you. It also reminds you of that right here, not walking. Okay, think heart healthy. You want to get your blood pumping. You can check it in the methods that you learned in unit one, but make sure that you're getting moderate to vigorous activities. You will need those three hours as we discussed, and you need to spread those out over three days. Why do I have to spread them out over three days? Well, we want to make sure that you're not just getting one activity, three hours, one time a week. We want to make sure that you're building a good plan, not only as part of the, the responsibility of taking a PE class online um, to actually do the activities, but it's to show that you understand them as well. Oh, but coach, I take soccer, I'm on a soccer team, and I practice three days a week at three hours a time. That's fine. You can count each one of those, but make sure that you want three hours, on three different dates. So you want to make sure you spread that out. Don't do it all in one day. Once you hit 180 minutes and three days, you can move on to the next log. Of course, you want to be healthy about this and be safe about it. Make sure you're stretching and cooling down. That does not count towards your time, but remember back when you learned about target heart rate zone that you don't want to just stop your workouts when you're at the highest level of your target heart rate, okay? Make sure that you're staying hydrated, dress appropriately, use sunscreen, don't work out in the hottest points of the day. Um, make sure that you're being safe, and if you need to have a coach watching you or um, a parent, make sure that you're doing that with some of your activities. It doesn't mean that all activities require that. Another part of this form is the dates. You'll log your dates with a month and day. Make sure you're logging that month and day. Um, sometimes I get students that just write 14. Okay, that doesn't tell me enough. So make sure you put what month the 14th was in. So just make sure you have your dates. I know it sounds simple, but again, I just want to go over some of the basics. Also, the dates should start after you started the class. So if you start the class on August 1st, I shouldn't see dates from July. I definitely shouldn't see dates from March. So make sure that those, those activities are in here. And make sure that those are not overlapping. So don't turn in one activity log with dates from August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, and then start the next activity log on August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. You want to make sure that you close out an activity log before starting your next one. The other big point is your dates must be recent and within a month of workouts. Please do not turn in workouts after they've, a month has passed. This is to keep you on pace and to keep you working on your assignments. You will see that you do need to turn in your activity logs in order to move on to the next unit. They're at the end of each unit, so make sure that you're working on those from the beginning and then have it to turn in at the end. Also, do not turn in blank logs just to move ahead. Uh, that will not work since they do have to have a score attached with them in order for you to move along. Another part here is it mentions that walking, golf, chores, and beach are activities that do not count as moderate or vigorous and should not be logged. I had to add this because I see it pretty often. Even though we say don't add walking, people add walking. Now, if you're doing vigorous walking, make sure that you note that. Um, but generally, just walking at a theme park and those kind of things, walking um, from golf for golf if you were not carrying your bag and being your own caddy, um, that's not something that's going to get your heart rate up. Uh, beach. Beach does not mean that you worked out the whole time you're outside even though you were hot and sweaty. So next one, be specific with what you're doing. I literally want you to write the workout so that I can see it. If I wanted to go do that workout 
or anybody else who looks at your work being turned in should be able to go and replicate that. If you just write gym, workout, biking, or swimming, it doesn't tell me any details. Give me those details. I went biking um, on West Orange Trail for 20 miles and it took me an hour because that's what you would need to be at that rate almost to get that heart rate up. So make sure you're getting your heart rate up. Don't write, I biked three miles in an hour because you can walk faster than that. So make sure that your workouts make sense. I'm looking to see that you know what you're logging, that you're logging accurately, and that you understand what you're logging. Be sure as well to total your time in minutes and don't forget the questions at the bottom, okay? So this should be filled out with at least three different dates and activities. You can have more and you can add lines if you need to, take away lines if you want, or just leave them blank. Write if they're moderate or vigorous here. Do not please, please, please write out the word, not just put M or V. And then put your time, time in minutes, okay? So if you did an hour, that's 60 minutes. If you did an hour and a half, that's 90 minutes. So make sure that your time is in minutes and then total your time here. And that total should always be over 180. Check your math. At the very bottom, you'll also see that there are two reflection questions. Please note it says complete sentences with proper grammar. That does mean complete sentences. A complete sentence doesn't just say one or two words. A complete sentence would say what workout you did and why it was most effective, okay? Periods are also included in complete sentences. Proper grammar, capitalizing the word I. Um, this is a high school level class. I do expect to see high school level writing here. You don't have a lot of writing for this course, um, so there is definitely a, a good spot to use your writing skills. It's two questions. Make sure you answer both of them and answer them separately. All right, so that is an overview of all the information, but again, it's right here. If you have questions, just ask. If you need a review on this, just watch the video again. Thanks.